getting a late start this morning. I think it's like 9.30. I don't know, I've just been lazy. I've been so busy this whole month. I deserve to be lazy, but I do need to get stuff done today. I need to make some cookies and uh, Larry, Mo, and Curly are here this morning <laughs> making their presence known. Well, they're not squawking right now. And uh, Calvin is stalking them. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how close they'll let me get to them. Usually pretty close. If I get close enough, they might spread their wings for you. Nope. You see that little bit of red they have on their forehead? Really should be doing yard work this week because it's gonna be warm this week. Uh, but I think I am because I don't want to. <laughs> Morning. Let's get moving, shall we? So Amy just messaged me um her dry broke and she's going to the park to she hang out with some other homeschoolers and she wanted to know if she can come by and drop off some laundry and put it in in my dryer while she's at the park i'm like sure you can do that so i gotta get what i have out of the dryer this is stuff i pulled it last night and i need to put that away Okay, done with the bed. How many pillows do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine pillows, right? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A pillow. Apparently, I can't count. So, um, yeah. So, I got to put y'all, put the camera phone, same thing, on the charger. So, I have all that mess to clean up. And then some mess down here. Yes, y'all, I'm a messy person. I've been telling you that. I'm a messy person. And um, this sweater didn't finish drying yesterday. I had laid it out on the bed. So um, it needs to finish drying. I'm gonna probably turn the fan on high. And um, yeah, how does that look like this? It's yellow compared to this, I don't know. Anyway, oh, I need to put the blanket on the bed. So um, I'm going ahead and keeping the blanket. I put a blanket between the sheet and the the quilt. Um, I used to switch out comforters, pain in the butt. It was a little warm last night with the blanket on there, but you could push it down and just have the sheet on top of you, and that was how it was. Living in Florida in the wintertime is a pain in the butt sometimes. I'm not minding it. I'm not complaining. I'm loving this weather. But, <laughs> you know, well, I figured out a better way after all these years, right? Is to just put a blanket on there. I just always thought it would be too hot because I would have to change out the heavier comforter, which I no longer have. Well, I have it, but I use it for my yoga mat. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, um, I would put it on, but you would need it one day, and then you wouldn't, wouldn't need it the next, and then you might need it for two, three days, and then you wouldn't need the next, and you would turn the air on and off. Ugh. We have not had to do that this year. I am so happy about that. It's either been cold or just warm enough to keep the doors and windows open and not have to turn the fan on or the fan, the AC on, or to turn the fans on just to keep it cool enough until, because it will be get hot like right in the middle of the day for like an hour or two, um, and then it cool off again. So I'm happy about that. Let me let me clean all this off off camera because I got to put, put the phone on the charger because um, I do everything on my phone. Film, edit, post, upload, everything. It's just so much easier than using the computer. I don't do the description on the 
on the computer. I, I mean, I don't do the computer description on the phone. I have to do that. And all the links that I always link for y'all. These sheets, they're so nice. They have the reinforced um, corners and stuff like that. I've mentioned them many times. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll put the link for you. <laughs> okay, these boots. I have a feeling they are so cute. I love them. But I have a feeling I'm never going to wear them. I'm thinking to see if Amy wants them. Uh, they are mud brand boots. Or try to sell them. Hmm? I'll see if she wants them. They might be too small. I think she wears a nine. I'm like an eight and a half. I don't know what size these are. What size? What does it say inside? Hey, these are size nine. So I'll see if she wants those. Um, yeah. And if I ever want to borrow them, I can just borrow them. But she might not want them. Okay, I took a break for a few minutes to make sub hubby some steak and eggs. We had steak last night. And so he's having steak and eggs. Cook once, eat twice. His vitamins, orange, some toast. Babe, here's your eggs. Okay. Come get them. Meet you half. Meet you halfway, so I don't have to walk all the way up the stairs. <laughs> I already had a banana coffee and a granola bar, so that's good for a while. I'll have a salad later. I bought from Publix. My favorite. What is that? Sweet potato, cranberry, something or another. I don't know. All right. Put you back on the charger. Put some away. I gotta put the rest away. I'm still loving my dryer balls. I'll put the link down below to that. It helps um, save on, on fabric softener, um, which is really toxic. But <laughs> we have such hard water and been having so much problems with our water this year that I did buy some dryer sheets, but they are the seventh generation dryer sheets just to make our clothes a little bit softer. Um, I do have seventh generation I might not. I have in the past bought 7th generation um, fabric softener, but I didn't like it. It was made the, it made everything like really way too soft. Maybe I just used too much. It was like everything was like wimpy. It had no structure left to it. So, and then w one thing I wanted to share with you, which I'm sure I'm going to get comments about. <laughs> However, I have may have made a mistake, but I don't think so. But I've done this before. So, this is a method and, um, yeah, I like the smell of it. Um, well, also, I bought this. I actually like the pink grapefruit one. This one, eh. This is the, um, which one is it? Uh, the lime and sea salt cuts grease and grime. Um, anyway, so I use it for the bathroom. Um, it does get rid of stinky smell. So, um, what I, I bought it because there was hardly any de cleaners left. But now it seems to be fine. They're back all in stock. So, I'll go back to the seventh generation. So, but what I do is, um, I definitely like the pink grapefruit one. But it's, if you're new to my channel, I try to buy no natural products or more natural products. And I use an app called Think Dirty. Um, and it rates them by the cleanliness of them, how clean they are. And, um, yeah. I mean, I know there's some some natural ingredients which are toxic, so that there's that too. So, um, anyhow, the point of that is that I have this with vinegar, and I know you're not supposed to mix cleaning products, but first it's vinegar, and this is mostly natural, so I think it's fine. Um, obviously, you can't mix vinegar with your bleach. That's very toxic, from what I understand. Never tried that, but I, I, I heard that was very toxic. So, you don't want to do that. So, um, but I'm sure if I contacted Method and asked them if that was okay, I'm sure they would tell me no. Not because it's toxic, because they don't want me to do that, because then I would be buying, <laughs> I would be buying less of their products. So, anyway, if anybody knows the reason why I shouldn't be doing that, I, you can you can tell me that. <laughs> I will admit I'm wrong, but I think it's fine. Um, I think it's naturally derived, but yet, is bleach natural? No. I thought somebody told me that was derived from natural something. I don't know. Bleach is toxic, y'all. Don't be using that unless you have to. I only use it in my toilets. That's it. Um, seventh generation does make a laundry booster that whitens your um. Their little pods. 
Um, I'll put the link down below for that too. I get a lot of um, my 7th generation products from, from Target. I used to get them from Grove Club. I need to cancel that. Yeah, it's just too expensive. Yeah, whatever. I It's just, I need to not do that. Um, it's just not working out for me. So, um, yeah. Anyway, the point of all that, that will make that last a lot longer, but you still have a little bit of a nice smell, but maybe not as toxic. Cause the worst thing in most products is the fragrance. So everything might be natural in this. This is naturally July. Yeah, look it up. It ain't. Well, the reason Think Dirty does not rate this very well is because the fragrance in it is terrible. Um, so they add everything natural and then they add in unnatural fragrance. Explain that to me. I guess because it smells good. Because usually essential oils don't really hold the smell very well for very long. And it doesn't, yeah. Anyhow. I'm going to show you what I got at Target the other day. So if you watched my car, car vlog, which I don't even know if I posted that. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I'm supposed to post it today. <laughs> and I haven't edited it yet. So today I want to make cookies for my son. And his girlfriend, his on and off again girlfriend, yeah, um, and send them stockings out tomorrow, probably. Probably not going to get to the post office today. So, and for his cat, Pixel, his Bengal cat, big cat, he's so pretty and so soft and beautiful. I'll try to insert a picture here. So, um, I bought three stockings. I was going to use what I had, but I don't know. They were just kind of cheap Dollar Tree ones. So, I got these and these were only $3. They were at the dollar spot. They were only $3 and I thought they were kind of manly and I know one of these is for his girlfriend. Um, but they all match. So, there's that. So, all right. First of all, um, well, I got this at Publix. <laughs> Because that's not, I could not find these online. I always get myself one of these owl socks um, every year. They're so nice. <gasps> they are so soft. You have to buy yourself one for sure. So, um, get yourself one. So, at Target, I also got this um, native coconut uh, and vanilla body wash. I really like the um, raw sugar body wash. It was, what was it? Watermelon and something. I, but, you know, it doesn't rate very well on the Think Dirty app. So, this does. Well, actually, I don't know if it does, but I'm assuming it does. Um, let me look it up real quick. I think Native does. The deodorant and all that kind of stuff. So, I want to try that. Um, and then, I bought the Raw Sugar Sugar uh, Scrub. Now, I really like their company because they they donate to... Um, um, soap to i think soap to every product you buy they donate a bar of soap to someone in need um yeah so but it doesn't rate very good on think dirty app because of guess what guys the fragrance mm -hmm. so that's but i ran out so when i find a better sugar scrub i will buy that so um lemon sugar that smell seems wonderful and i got a, a five dollar target card when i went there and then i bought me some of this pacifica island perfume i did not look this up before i buy it but most pacifica um products are pretty good on the think dirty app but there are a few if you know what basically if it smells really strong it's probably not good because it's probably not natural fragrance because natural fragrance doesn't smell that that good because i actually buy um elba botanical shampoo and conditioner and i recently bought one and oh my god it smells oh it smells way too strong i don't even like it i'm so used to um buying products that are not strongly smelling so it smells that's weird all for me so for my son and his girlfriend let's see i need to separate it so i got i couldn't find the owl socks so i got these they're same thing but actually, these are nicer. <laughs> but anyway, I found those at Target, so I got those for her. That is for my son. I got him a poof. And then I got um, her son, Kay is her name, for um, hand cream. The Burt's Bees. I love Burt's Bees. So I got that hand cream. And I got, I think I got this for my son. Yeah, that was for my son. 
and then I bought some of the Pacifica Kale Detox Clen uh, Deep Cleansing Face Wash. And, yeah. and then I got her some of this Pacifica Island. Um, it's a roll-on. That's for her. And I got her a face mask. I don't know what to get either one of them. So, cosmetics it is. And I got her of the, what is this, like three-pack, four-pack? Three-pack of kissable chapstick and I got my son some of this Harry's Bar Soap. This is new to me. I never heard of it. It's supposed to be natural. So, um, yeah, I got that for him. And then I got her a um, pumice stone scrubbing brush, foot brush and pumice. Yeah. So that's that. And then what is this? Oh, and I got my son some of the native uh, deodorant. And like I mentioned or didn't mention, I don't remember if I posted the call rock. My son's company designed the box that you get this in because you, it's now at the store. I think they only used to send it to you, uh, like through a subscription or something. I don't really know. Anyway, he designed the box. I sent it in. It had like their logo on it, and it's like a fancy box and stuff that fit like fit the deodorant. You get one thing of deodorant in there, and it was like in taste in the box. I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, so there's that. So, um, and then I got his cat some stuff. Well, let me show you. So then I got these two things for him. This is a joke. So he always made fun of me at uh, holiday time when I would put out the hand towels and, um, I don't recall telling them not to use them, but apparently they thought that was the case. And, um, yeah, I just liked it when, if they were going to use them, to fold them up and put them back nicely, but they didn't do that. So, it was always a joke, don't use the decorative towels, don't use the towels, they're just decorative. So, I'm going to wrap these up and I'm going to put a label on there that says, for decorative purposes only. <laughs> it's a joke. I wanted to get a, um, I'll see if I can get one on Amazon, a musical voice activated or light activated toys, you know, like that reindeer thing that I got, because that's a joke too. We had a bell one for 10 years and every time we went by it, it would play jingle bells and Nick and Bob would uh, hide it on me because it was annoying to them. So yeah, so this is for the cat. I got this little thing for his cat and I bought one of these for our cats too. It chatters. You have to pull that thing. I'm not going to do that yet, but it chatters and makes some different kind of noises. And our cats really play with toys. Our other cats never really did that. So, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna, not going to make cookies in this video, guys. So, <laughs> maybe another video. So, actually, I think on Friday is a, um cooking clap maybe i'll wait for them so you can watch on friday yeah because this ain't gonna fit in this video uh you can watch on friday the cookies that i'm gonna make for my son to send so this is another toy it's like um wrinkly and makes noises and then oh i showed i showed these in the video and on instagram y'all gotta buy these oh my god they are so good and i was telling my niece about it and she goes and I was saying something about them being natural. Well, not really. <laughs> they are made from real fruits and vegetables. But um, they have dye in them. Where is it? Well, it doesn't say. It says natural flavor. It doesn't. I don't see that. I don't know what she's talking about. Whatever. It's a treat. <laughs> it's not horrible. They are so good. So that's for my son. No, that's for Kay. And then this is my son's favorite gum, so I bought him that. He always buys that. And I saw these at the register. I thought they were cute, so I'm going to give one to my son and one to Kay. And then Calvin loves these little fishy things. They do have catnip in it. She just, He just loves these. He acts like he's done caught something when he carries it around the house and stuff. And then I bought um the cat um one of these things too because my son left his here i wonder if i should send that but the cats love it he left one of his the feather one it looks like a feather duster the cats love that one i should send it back to him i might but our cats really like it i don't know um anyway so that's i'm gonna put that stuff in the stocking i gotta wrap each one I, 
just don't want to do that. But since I'm sending it, normally I wouldn't do that. Well, I don't know. It's, let me know in the comments below. Do you wrap your, your stocking gifts or do you just put them in there? So, we've done both. Most of the time we wrapped it. But sometimes it's just hubby and I. Then I just put it in there. We're not even doing any of that this year. So, there's that. Okay, guys. One of you. I don't remember. I'll put it in the, on the screen if I can remember. I think I'm going to post a picture on the community page, too. So, one of you suggested that I put the um, all the gingerbread stuff on a platter. Oh, my God. I'm not sure why I didn't think of it. I love it. Look at how cute that looks. It looks like a thing of cookies. And then, if you have not seen my gingerbread decor video, um, I'll, click, I'll put the link down below or watch the playlist. So, I just taped the... Um, they're supposed to be ornaments for the tree. I used to do a tree, um, gingerbread tree. I'll put the link down below too. I think it was 2015 I showed that video. Um, anyway, I just, it's supposed to be for the tree. So I just taped the um, string on, what do you want to call it, on the back so that you can't see them. And it looks like a plate of cookies. So cute. I really like that. And then I put a picture of my son with his first Christmas picture there always bring that out at christmas time uh so thank you for that suggestion i think that was a great idea all right one more thing i'm gonna share and then i'm gonna go because i already started editing this video and it's 21 minutes long and i want to give you a short one <laughs> 21 minutes long and short so this apron that i'm wearing it's just like the green and white striped one that that i bought so um I will put the link down below. I really like it. So this one and the green one, see it says foodie on it, um, is really thick. A really thick, like the other aprons I don't, the other, the other aprons I have are really thin. And I like this really thick one because then I can just wipe, wipe my hands on it. When I get something on my hands, I can wipe my hands on it and it won't leak through onto my clothes and stuff and it has pockets in there so i could put my phone in there or whatever i need to put um in there the other ones do not have pockets that i can recall wait the blue buffalo check one plaid whatever you call that um that doesn't that does have pockets i think i don't know um Anyhow, so I really like this one. I don't know what other colors it come in, but I really like that. So I'll put the link down below. That's it for today, guys. I will make cookies on another day, and hopefully you will see that. I don't know when you're going to see this. Actually, yeah, you're going to see this after I make the cookies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it would be confusing. Anyway, so the cookies is a collab, so I won't, like, date that video. It won't be a vlog. It's just going to be making cookies, and um, this will be part of a vlog. So, um, I will link the cookie video in the description below. Um, I'm making chocolate chip cookies and some of my mom's peanut butter kiss cookies. I make them a little bit different than everybody else do aren't they called like blossom cookies or something like that i don't know i make them a little bit different than everybody else do else do it everybody else does it's bite-sized ones which that's how you should make cookies right especially christmas cookies bite size bye guys <laughs>